Today we're doing Lesson 49 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 49. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. It is quite possible to listen to God's voice all through the day without interrupting your regular activities in any way. The part of your mind in which truth abides is in constant communication with God, whether you are aware of it or not. It is the other part of your mind that functions in the world and obeys the world's laws. It is this part that is constantly distracted, disorganized, and highly uncertain. The part that is listening to the voice for God is calm, always at rest, and wholly certain. It is really the only part there is. The other part is a wild illusion, frantic and distraught, but without reality of any kind. Try today not to listen to it. Try to identify with the part of your mind where stillness and peace reign forever. Try to hear God's voice call to you lovingly, reminding you that your Creator has not forgotten His Son. We will need at least four five-minute practice periods today, and more if possible. We will try actually to hear God's voice reminding you of Him and of yourself. We will approach this happiest and holiest of thoughts with confidence, knowing that in doing so, we are joining our will to the will of God. He wants you to hear His voice. He gave it to you to be heard. Listen in deep silence. Be very still and open your mind. Go past all the raucous shrieks and sick imaginings that cover your real thoughts and obscure your eternal link with God. Sink deep into the peace that waits for you beyond the frantic, riotous thoughts and sounds and sights of this insane world. You do not live here. We are trying to reach your real home. We are trying to reach the place where you are truly welcome. We are trying to reach God. Do not forget to repeat today's idea very frequently. Do so with your eyes open when necessary, but closed when possible. And be sure to sit quietly and repeat the idea for today whenever you can, closing your eyes on the world and realizing that you are inviting God's voice to speak to you. That's lesson 49. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresason.com and click on Amy's blog.